that back in there, shall we? Uh, hello, my name is uh, Aaron. Um, welcome to the rescue garden. It's all pretty informal here. Uh, a year ago, I rented a little bit of land with the idea of trying to help um, rescue puppies and to help them have a place to stay and recover until we can find them an adoption home. I'd say the easy part is, is picking them up and helping them and working out what medicine they need and uh, getting them to the vet. And there's limited space here, so it's very difficult to have more than nine or 10 dogs. One, once I reach a limit, I have to put a pause on uh, rescuing until I can find some adopters. People uh, prefer to adopt younger dogs normally. It's very, very difficult to get an adoption for an older dog. But a lot of people want to, want to have um, like fashionable dogs, I suppose. And unfortunately, the Bali dog, they're not as fashionable uh, anymore, which I find really, really sad because they're so intelligent and they're so strong and clever and loyal and playful and kind. They're, they're really lovely dogs. I always say to people, uh, if you're if you're thinking of uh, getting a dog, please, please, please don't buy from a breeder. Don't buy a dog that you, that you think suits your personality. Go down to the local rescue. If there's no dogs at the local rescue or there's nothing you think suits there, go to the next local rescue. There are always animals that need, that need adopting and need help. There should never be a need to buy an animal. And, uh, they're not commodities, they're not items for us to, to purchase. Make sure that they're not treated as a, as a product or a commodity or something, something with a barcode just to purchase. Hey Vicky, you're not, are you? I try my best with uh, my, my friend who helped me to rescue a, a lovely Balinese lady named Nanga. Um, she works with the local community to try and get adoptions in the local community. And um, I try my best to get adoptions as well using um, mainly online, online um, posts and Instagram posts and Facebook posts and things like this. Why are you so muddy? Why are you so muddy? Almost all of these dogs were dumped uh, at the temple, which there's like a temple with uh, what's called a ballet banja, and uh, there's a trash dump nearby. People, when they don't want dogs or dogs get sick, they end up getting thrown away there. So most of these dogs get rescued from there. Hi, Violet. Hi, darling. Hi, what is it? Honk, honk, you're too big to do this. You're too big to do this. She's actually the longest serving resident here. Violet, the, uh, Violet the rescue pig. She was rescued from a pig farm. She must be almost one year old and she's a big pig. So um, I love rescuing, rescuing dogs. And one of the things that I really want to do is, is help to educate about compassion towards animals. And uh, we all love dogs, we've all grown up with them and seen how, how lovely and playful and uh, fun and giving they are. And you look into their eyes and you think, who could, who could hurt this animal? Yet um, some animals we're, we're choosing to love and care for like dogs, and other animals we're choosing to be cruel to. Um, so yeah, what, what I really want to promote is that we can all be kind to animals every day and we don't just make that choice through going out and rescuing animals and sort of being out in there and sort of heroically picking up an animal that's definitely going to die. There's animals that we're paying to, to kill and they suffer and they don't have to and we can easily make, um, we can easily make different choices. So I hope to promote that and that's the real idea and ideals behind, behind this, showing that animals like Violet here, the pig, 
aren't too dissimilar to animals here like Lucy. They both love to play around. I can't really tell the difference in their personalities and I think most people, if you came and met them, would, uh, would feel the same and you might start to change your mind about whether that bacon sandwich is really worth it. I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without the people who already support me and I, I'm really, really grateful to them all and uh, I know if these, these dogs and Violet the pig could, uh, could talk, they'd say the same thing because uh, we've, we've been able to change their life thanks to your support and uh, I appreciate, appreciate everybody who's, who's helped me over, over the years and months and weeks and days. It's, it's never ending. Um, I'll keep rescuing animals and doing everything I, I can in my power, uh, but one of the things I've come to realize is that whilst I love rescuing dogs and finding them new homes, my main aim is to help to reduce the level of cruelty that is happening to animals. So in the future, along with uh, my good friend Pia, we're hoping to open the Bali Farm Sanctuary, where we'll be able to give sanctuary to animals who are abused that often go off the radar. There's so many other animals like Violet the pig, uh, cows, chickens, ducks, that also need rescuing um, and there's no place for them at the moment so the farm sanctuary will be a place um, of course we'll have a handful of dogs there as well but we'll really be focusing on farm animals that need rescue for me that's my mission in life i'll probably never never be a rich man but i uh i think if I get to the end of my days and I, I can say that I've helped people to be less cruel to animals and I've helped animals to have a better life, I'll be very happy.